Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a shark on an iPad using Procreate. And I want to thank Appeals, our sponsor for this video. I selected a soft and small airbrush to begin with and a dark brown. With this we sketch the surface line of the sea with the waves. It can be very simple, something like that. All right, now let's make another line which can be with different shapes. So we have the top plane of the surface of the sea. And I lift it a little bit higher to leave more space below, like so. Now the shape of the shark, which of course is very aerodynamic. Here goes the mouth, then the eye and the top fin, and the gills here. I make a dividing line because they have white on the lower part, while they are grey on the upper area. Let's draw the tail a little bigger. Let's create a new layer and select a blue for the sky. Then we make a line on this layer to separate the sky from the sea, so we can drop the color on it. We create a new layer and choose a darker blue for the ocean. And also here we draw a dividing line which I make more jagged for the undulation of the waves and drop the blue. The layer with our shark should be above that, otherwise we don't see it. With a wider airbrush, let's go darker on the lower part. With a much lighter blue, let's make some light beams, but much softer, like this. And we make several of those. Now, with a grey and a medium airbrush, we begin painting the shark. That will be for the upper half and the tail. Let's give a tone to the fin. And to the rest of the upper half of the shark. As the surfaces torn away from the sun, they darken. Let's switch color for a much lighter for the lower part. This is interesting in regards to how we shade it, because the lower part is more in shade and therefore should be darker, but the shark has a change of color. The bottom part is white and therefore it should be a lot lighter. It is of a lighter value, but in shade. The result is that it still looks lighter than the upper part, which catches the light, but is of a darker grey. Let's paint the underneath of this fin and I'll deactivate the sketch lines. Good, now we can refine the shape. Ok, good! Now, on a new layer, and with the very light grey, let's paint the reflections. These are called caustic lights, and are those wiggly lines we sometimes see underwater. We will add this, of course, on all the surfaces that are facing up, and therefore, that are being illuminated by the sun. When two or more of these lines cross, an even brighter spot is created. This is really fun. I have some good news for you from our friends of Appeals. Let me tell you about it briefly while we continue drawing. Because you requested it, and also because of the success of their first art contest, they will soon hold a second such competition, this time also with cash prizes for the winners. 
The theme or subject of this competition will be our beautiful Earth. I am mentioning this to you now so that you have time to get inspired and to create your works of art. Appeals, as you know, makes beautiful fabric skins and stickers that can be removed and reused. This is a great way to promote your art or your brand. At their website, appeals.com, you can design your own stickers or choose them from their extensive image gallery. By the way, they are about to implement international shipping too, so stay tuned for this and for more updates on the contest. Ok, very good. Let's erase this dark line on top and then make some bubbles underwater. You know, I think the fin on top needs to come forward. So we select it and move it. And I will also tilt it slightly clockwise. Good. Let's just repair the wound. <laughs> you know what? Some of the reflections were in another layer, so let's move them also. If you made it all the way to this point, I would love to know it. Please in the comments write me the secret code, a ferocious shark. And we may adjust the opacity of the sea and the sky. And it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to visit Appeals with the link below and I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.